Hello everybody welcome to the part 5 of how to make blocks fruit game tutorial series. So today we are gonna make a main menu for our game. This is a new project you can make this in the old project if you want. So let's get started. Also guys I made a Patreon if you don't want to program this by yourself you go to my Patreon and support me with that you will get the whole project file. I'm thankful for every donation. If you can't donate you can subscribe I'm thankful for that too. Also you will get the blocks fruit tutorial files in every tier. And I made a discord server I will put both of these stuff in the description. You can join us on discord have some fun. And if you donate you will get some awesome stuff in my discord server too. So with that being said let's get back to the video. So first create a two new teams in the team service. Name them pirates and marines you can put blue and red colors too. This will help us to ease like create team we need. To pirates assign red and to marines assign the color blue you can customize this to your liking. Make sure to turn off the auto assign property in both teams. So now we can test the game out if everything is work. As you can see it shows us the two teams we just created. Just like blocks fruit. Alright now we can create a GUI for the team selecting. Guys this is the hardest part to explain but I will try my best. I'm going to speed up this part a little if you are lost then slow the video down so it's easy to understand. You can put a UI corner to get that cool rounded edges. Grid layout makes frame placing so easy we don't need to manually place them. It's easy that way. You can change cell size property to get the size you need. Once that done simply go and change the horizontal assignment property to center. Add a little text to make it easy to understand by the player.
Alright we are done with the GUI part let's move on to coding this to work. Create a script in the GUI so we can start coding. And create a remote event in the replicated storage. And also create a script in the server script service we will need it later. So first create a variable for the main frame. Then make so when the player click the button it's fire the remote event that we created in the replicated storage. If you want you can create a variable for the remote event. Then we copy paste it once and change the button name to Marin's. Never mind I'm going to create variable for the remote event anyway. Alright now we make so when the one of these buttons clicked by the player we fire the remote event. So we can receive it in the server. We also send the command and the name of the team or the name of the button. Careful because make sure the name of the frame and the team name are matching. We send a command cause we can minimize the number of remote events we have to create. That save us lot of performance I think. In the main menu server script we create a variable for the remote event if you want you can copy the other script line. Now we can receive the event in this script. As you can see we save info sent by the client into two variables. Their cmd and the info the player variable is the client who send the event to the server. If the cmd is change team then we can set the player's team to the team the client want to be in. Now everything should be working fine. Let's test it. As you can see it's working. Now we can add some effects also we need to invisible the frame after the player choose their team. We are going to add some blur effect to make it more smooth.
You can do that by creating a GUI blur in lighting and making it enable and disable. It is kinda self-explanatory so I'm going to shut up. And also we make everything visible when the player joins the game. Easy. We can invisible everything now. Now everything should be working fine. Let's test it. As you can see it's working. Now we are going to make a fast mode system. If you didn't know what's that is it's the system that disable every textures in the game it's used by mobile and low end PC players. I set up some parts with textures so we can test the system once we done making. I also put them inside a folder called map. Alright create a button for the fast mode system. Alright once you're done we are going to make it work. Now what we are gonna do is loop though the map folder inside workspace and we are disabling the textures. This is kinda complicated so stick with me. We are going to loop though the folder using a for loop and when we see a might real we set it to smooth plastic. That way mobile players can load up a huge map no problem. We also visible the loading text for a while and invisible it after the script disable all the textures.
now everything should be working fine. Let's test it. As you can see it's working. We can also visible it after player joins the game. Perfect it's working. So guys that's it for today's video, so make sure to visit my discord links in the description, leave a like and if you like videos like this subscribe for more, if you want to support me and get some cool stuff check out my patreon all of the links in the description, so with that being said see you guys in another video, peace out.